Welcome back to Behind the Mountain. Today we're going to catch up with another Team Shoei rider, son of a TT winner, three TT victories himself, 22 podiums. It's none other than Dean Harrison, and he's not pulling wheelies, it's pulling whippies. Cancel that one. It won't do it, there you go. Cancel that off. Rock and rock and roll. There you go. That's a bit McGinnis. No flies on me. That's a bit McGinnis. It'll be interesting. You'll be all right. I'm 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 just dying to see this. Come on. Right, what 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 we're doing, go, mate? What can I do for you? Can I have a medium waffle cone with a plate, please? Medium waffle cone. So I take that's your medium. Yep. Yeah, waffle cone. That's a waffle cone. But we don't take that one off there. We take that one out of there. This one out of here? Yeah. And what do you want? What ice cream? Yeah, uh, whippy, please. A whippy? Oh, this is going to be a laugh, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Oh, yeah. Have you done that? No. Does it do it automatic? Yes. <laughs> Dean, you're lining up on the senior TT or you're pouring your first well, ice cream with a big crowd. What's uh, What do you find more nervous? Ah, it Switch won't up. stop. Oh. 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 Here we go. Oh. Not bad, really, for a first attempt. No, I didn't realise it. I thought it turned itself off. No. Right, we're doing a flake. Oh, yeah, please. Sorry, I've just given all this ice cream away now. There we go. Right, he owes me a fiver now for giving him a Do oh, you like any sauce? No, thank you. Just plain? Yeah, I didn't know. I'd grab that. Just be careful it doesn't fall over. There's plenty there. Like there you go. Oh, yeah, you might need a spoon just to stop it from falling off. Sorry about that. you got plenty of ice cream. There you go. Go on then. Till job, come. Is it old fashioned? Tenner in there. Tenner in that. And he's priced for his ice creams up here, mate. What, what, what would you want to ask for again? It, well, he asked for a medium. We won't got worry about what he got. So, what's that? <laughs> so, he wants, what's that? So, he wants six quid back? Yes. Right, that's one and a five. Dean, how does, uh, how does the there income stack up to the, the prize money from uh, from Saturday and Sunday? So, right, I'm going to go buy an ice cream, though. <laughs> it's just like an accelerator, that. That's, yeah, you I, don't actually take it off, I held it off, for too long. You? That's the problem. It's just like yeah. you. <laughs> You must, you, that. you must be a happy fella right now. Saturday, Sunday, two races, two podiums. I think you're now on 22 TT podiums, three wins. Most importantly, a senior TT win. Well, you must be happy. No, I am happy to be honest. Yeah, we've been the team's done a brilliant job all week. The bikes have been going really well, and I just think to get a pod at the TT is obviously a massive thing. You've raced it yourself. You know how difficult it is around here. The good thing is, we're talking to someone like you. You can appreciate what everyone's doing. Whereas some other people outside say, oh, you must be a little bit disappointed. It's like, mate, no, you just don't realise how much effort and time and things go into just finishing the race here. So, no, I'm happy what's going on. And we've got another, what, six races left. It's an unbelievable so programme program this year, isn't it? Do, do you enjoy the new schedule? Yeah, so far, it was a bit strange on Saturday because normally I'm so used to doing Superbike, watching the sidecar and then getting Sunday off. Whereas it was super sport first, then super bike, it was a little bit strange, but no, it's been spot on to be fair, I can't complain, so I'm looking forward to the stock race tomorrow. Nice one, you enjoy Cheers. pouring some more ice cream. Some more ice cream. Okay. I'll think of a question or two while, uh... go on, next customer. One more customer? Yeah. Can you ask for like a lolly or something? It makes life a lot easier. <laughs> 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 Bring me on spring goes. Right, so what do you have to, what can I do for you? Can I get a waffle? Uh, a waffle? Chocolate ice cream. Sorry. This this waffle cone, yeah. right, which is in here. And what ice cream would you like? Chocolate? Oh, yeah. A scoop one? A scoop. Oh, this will be a laugh. Might be easier. There you go. I'll come out of your way, sorry. Right. There we go. Okay. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm losing you money with all these customs. Uh, don't worry about it. We'll recover. Yeah, Interesting uh, fact that Dean come back up. So, uh, fir first ice cream that he's made was to a live customer, no practice. First time you rode a 1000cc bike thing. Yeah. Tell, tell, everybody, tell everybody where it was. Down Bray Hill. Never rid a thousand cc bike until he came to the Man TT. <laughs> is that any good? <laughs> like I said, I've done this. I can't can't explain you how sure? how crazy like how else? crazy that is. No, it's a man, it's there you go, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Is it contactless? <laughs> <laughs> Pay, payment contactless. Right, He's the man for this job. I don't want to start faffing with the banking oh, system in here. Ma Ma <laughs> Ma Ma McGinnis says cash is better. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Obviously today, Dean, you're Beautiful. busy with you much. PR commitments and with us at Shoei and the Behind exactly. the Mountain series. Uh, what, when you do you get wrapped up around midday, what what do you do on a day off? Uh, honestly, today I've got this bit of chatting now. I've got a few things to go through with the team, uh, about ties and things for tomorrow's race. And then I'm going to go take the kids to Laxey Beach uh, and probably have an ice cream at Laxey Beach. 
Sorry about that. Uh, and then I'm gonna, uh, I've got to go watch the motocross beach race at six on the front. Then I probably might head down the fair with the kids for a bit and then just chill out. Knowing you pretty well, are you tempted to put an entry into that beach race? Uh, no, not this time. No, I think I need to conserve the energy for tomorrow because it's been a big week. Seven days straight riding, mate. Honestly, today's the first day off and uh, it's appreciated. It's one, one thing, uh, knowing you, knowing John very well, it's a... Uh, I don't know, road racing is uh, very much a family thing and you, you do it great as well. I see you around the paddock with your kids. You know, John's very much family orientated, as are you and Vicky and the kids. Yeah. Is it uh, important to you, important yeah, to spend that downtime? It, it's, right, it's nice to get out. It's not like when you're in the paddock so much, you just get engrossed in everything that's going on and you you struggle to you know, to take your mind away and, and relax. To be whereas, Dean, Dean the dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> whereas we'll go out this afternoon and you'll be... They'll be crying and doing the rest of it, and you'll be picking them out of the sea, and there'll be sand. So it just it takes your mind onto something else, and you can have a reset for tomorrow. What's more frustrating, losing the position on the last lap, or getting up with children at three or four in the morning oh, when they don't that, sleep? To be fair, that's a close call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pushing. No. Thank you very much. I did a picnic thing. We don't want to hold I'll, him I'll back. I'll hand you over to the professionals. <laughs> I'm sorry about for wasting your time. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> where am I looking at? You. I, we just chat and yeah. ignore him. Yeah. Dean, you played a, a massive part in the recent No Room for Error series. Did you enjoy it? Do you think it came across and gave a real insight into what life in the TT is like for riders and families? Uh, do you know what? I did enjoy it. For, at times it was difficult, as you can imagine, there's cameras everywhere and you do struggle for time to yourself here. Uh, but looking back now, I think it turned out really well and you get to see a side of the TT that you'd never ever normally get to see. Obviously most people turn up here, they see the bike in the paddock and you go down the hill. They don't get to see what, well, actually everyone's normal. Everyone is a normal person doing normal things and things like that. So it's, I think it, it came across well and I'm looking forward to series too. No, I think I think you came across brilliant. And it was uh, even for me, you know, as being part of it as such, uh, but I, what, what, what I found interesting rather than watching how, say we always look at how we came across ourselves. It yeah. was, Getting to see your thoughts on it, getting to see Lee Johnson's thoughts, you know, Lee and Paul and the motorhome. And, yeah, exactly. You know, you know, I, I think everyone come across in it really well, uh, and you get to see people's characters quite well in it, and it, that's what shows, and that's what people, I think, like to see. So, no, I, I thought it would be brilliant. It's like when people meet you and they go, like, oh, I can't believe I'm meeting you, and you're really normal. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> like, like, you always think so. What do you, th what do you actually think I'm like? <laughs> do you think I'm a robot, or you, you, don't, you don't know, do you? But I don't know if normal's a word I can use for you. No, probably not. No, no, no. No, 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 but normalish then. <laughs> normalish, we'll go normalish. Yeah. Dal Racing, you've been with them for a number of years now. Um, how did it come about? You know, where where did that start? Where uh, were you before? You sort of. I rode at Yamaha everyone? before in 2015. It had been, and then I spoke with uh, uh, Silicone. It had been back then for 2016. This is all uh, what you're doing for next year. And I'm like, oh, I'm not quite sure. And then they sort of got talking away, and then I've sort of been there ever since. Really, it's been with a really good relationship. We've won two TTs, numerous podiums, various other road road race wins. I think we've still got the little Ultra Grand Prix lap record on the stock bike. We've won on the super bike around there. We've done all sorts to be honest together uh, and it's been a good relationship and I, and I love it the team's great they know what we need to do and we're sort of like one big family and we just move on with everything we've got sounds like the type of relationship if they were to put a five-year contract on the table is it something that dean harrison would sign uh yeah probably so really yeah because <laughs> the, the the team puts 110 percent into everything would make the most of what we have available to us uh and anything they can get we, we get do you know there's no no expense spared in the whole team it's, it's brilliant you're lucky, uh, well, not lucky, you earned it, but you are uh, fortunate to be in a club of senior TT winners. Yeah. Um, how does the, the mindset, so this week you've already had podiums in Super Sport Race 1, Super Bike Race 1, you've six more races, one of them six is a senior. Is it a different mindset on senior day? You know, do, do you treat it different? Do you try any harder? It's, no, it's very hyped. Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, the reason being that the senior is probably the biggest race is I only first about a few years ago. The actual senior TT trophy is the original from 1907. Right. That's why the senior is the biggest race because the trophy is the original. Whereas the superbike race didn't start till the 60s. So the trophy's not been going as long. That's right. what makes the senior the most prestigious because it is the longest running race. I think we should call this episode of Behind the Mountain TT Facts with Dean Harrison because that's, uh, that's one I've never, there never knew. There you go. Knew. That's exactly the reason. That's the reason I mean. So you can go back and look at the senior trophy and it'll have the first original TT winner all the way through to last year's, which I think we hit one last year, me the previous year, so. Describe the feeling then, 2019, yeah. you won the senior TT, you crossed the line, so you, 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 probably, you probably know going by your boards. Yep. 
it's a, can you compare the feeling to anything else in life? No, it's like obviously that, that is the pinnacle of road race or the Isle of Man TTs to win the senior. So once you've done that, it's almost like I have completed the task I've always wanted to do. Uh, but then obviously you want to do it again, don't you? So That's it's the like, next question. What, yeah, what makes you come back? Yeah, what exactly. Makes you no, I, I just love riding my motorbike. I love riding bikes. Love riding around the Isle of Man TT. Uh, look at all the fans. Everyone loves it, and especially with the sun shining like today. Uh, and I just want to keep keep going fast. I just, I just enjoy riding my bike. So I'll just keep keep trying and. You never know what might happen. You've got to finish, was it to finish first, first you must finish. That's, that's very true. Well, do you know what, Dean? I've been in your position before, nowhere near as fast as you, but I've uh, experienced what you're going through in these two weeks. So I'm not going to hold you back anymore because I know you've got technical stuff to talk about, tyre choices for Superstock. Yep. You've got family time today, Laxey Beats. Yep. You need to switch off. <laughs> Unwind you, a bit. you go and enjoy yourself from all at Team Showy. Continue doing what you're doing. Keep racking up them podiums and wins, and I wish you the best of luck and a safe week. Well, cheers. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Man. Cheers.